Hello everyone, I'm Eve. Recently, I have noticed an interesting phenomenon in Chinese digital communication. Some of the news provided in the follow-up reporting that contradicted the facts that provided in the initial reporting. The contradicting facts presented in two or more versions gives the audience an impression that the initial reporting provided misinformation or disinformation. This is called plot twist news in Chinese media context, and we have to notice that it is not fake news. There is one typical example: the Bao Yuming sexual assault case. On April the ninth of two thousand and twenty, a Chinese news magazine named South Reviews released a feature article on its WeChat subscription account. The article accused. A lawyer named Bao Yuming, who is 48 years old, of sexual abusing his adopted daughter, who is only 14 years old. Most of the resources are provided by the adopted daughter, who is identified only as Han. She alleged that the relationship was not consensual because 14 was the age of consent. Bao could only be convicted as rape, but not as a relationship with a minor. This article sparked a storm of debate and raised the Me Too wave on Chinese social media. Although Bao denied the allegation, however, after the progress investigation, Han's real birthday was in October of 1990 rather than August of 2001, which is stated on her identification card, and which is means Han is already an adult when she met Bao. However, Bao did think that she was a minor, even though she didn't know her true age during the relationship. She indeed violates the social ethic and public morals, and this merits commendation from society. This plot twist result also caused another wave of controversy in Chinese social media. From then on, this kind of phenomenon became more and more common, and the media capability was greatly weakened. Let the bullet fly, which refers to waiting for the block twist, has become a general comment among Chinese netizens after controversy breaking news. So, why the plot twist news exists? One reason of it is the advent of social media brings with a high demand of timeliness. Nearly all Chinese news agencies choose to release news in WeChat subscription accounts or Weibo. In such a highly competitive environment, timeliness becomes a golden rule to grab the audience's attention. They normally won't think twice before releasing the news. Another reason is the technical limitation in the social media platforms. Websites can set up live stream with timeliness to ensure the integrity and antecedents. However, it is not available yet in WeChat and Weibo. In my opinion, we can't totally blame those news agency because it is hard to always be correct in this information explosion era. Therefore, how should us general audience treat news today, especially on controversial topic such as sexual harassment or involving in a highly unequal power relationship? I believe the easiest things we can do is to think in different perspective. Especially when the news reporting only uses words from the vulnerable groups. In fact, this is a common feature in the plot twist news. Reporter overtrust one side that they usually ignore to interview the other side, which is easily to have constricting facts in the future. However, in the social media era, some audience is actually don't care about what the news is. Or what the truth is, they just use this platform to express their radical emotion and keep accusing the party that they believe is wrong. This is also a factor that we need to think critically and cautiously.